Jeremy Jackson is back in Discovery Bay. 26 years ago, a hurricane ripped through these waters, turning the staghorn corals into mounds of rubble. Jackson and other scientists inspected the damage and predicted the corals would rebound quickly, just as they always have. You know, we were the best and the brightest, and we got it wrong, totally, completely wrong. The scientists didn't factor in the additional stresses of overfishing and nutrient loading. As a result, Jackson spends most of his homecoming dive picking the weeds that have taken over his reef. All of those Elkhorn forests are gone, and all of those Staghorn forests are gone. Of course, what's most striking is that the forests of corals have been replaced by forests of seaweeds. What's happening here is another example of slow environmental decay sliding into a self-perpetuating collapse. The results are fundamental changes to the ocean. By taking everything we want out of the ocean and dumping in what we don't want, Jackson says we are changing its contents, composition, and chemistry. This is a time of very great change. It's a time of great opportunity and a time of great risk because things are really, I think most of us believe, at a kind of tipping point. Jackson says we're pushing the oceans back to the dawn of evolution when bacteria and jellyfish ruled. It's a trend he calls the rise of slime. I can imagine an ocean that would be a continuous dead zone along all the coasts. People won't want to live in places like Malibu. They'll want to live in places like Kansas or South Dakota to be away from the ocean instead of next to it. Remove enough fish or add enough nutrients, and what was once a coral reef turns into a weed field. A kelp forest becomes an urchin barren. Walking on a sandy beach becomes a slog through drifts of seaweed. 